All right, everybody. It's Black Lotus One Two Six Five here again with yet another, you know it, eBay repack. Um, this is my second repack I got from MTG Unscrewed. Uh, this would be number forty-four and number seventy-three. Um, again, if you're new, if this is your first video, please scroll down and subscribe, subscribe and like. Um, click the little notification bell if you'd like to. Uh, I have posted, oh, I don't know, a dozen or so videos. Um, mostly eBay uh, repacks. Um, the last video I did, I asked a question about um, collection. If anybody would want to see some of my collection. And... I got 10 subscribers, and one subscriber said, sure, why not? I'd love to see some of your collections. So, uh, I know I got 10 subscribers, right? Kick kick ass. So maybe in the near future, I will do a collection video. Nothing fancy. I mean, I don't have a lot of P9 cards or nothing like that. Um, I do have a lot of pretty foil cards and stuff like that. And I mean, I do have a decent amount of cards. But, um, <clears throat> if you did not see the last video, uh, it was another repack from MTG and Screwed, and I pulled quite a few good things from his, uh, repack. Go check him out, um, on, uh, YouTube, uh, MTG and Screwed. He also has a eBay channel where he's selling these. I don't know if he has any left. I think as of yesterday, when I made the first video, we only had like 10. So, they may be gone already. But, uh, they were pretty fair. I mean, the first couple of ones I opened were... I mean, I think I did lose money on one of them. And I think I broke even on the other one. And I actually might have made a few dollars on the last one. So, can't really complain. Uh, I'm uploading a video right now of another repack. Uh... Mike Sorensen, uh, I think it's, I don't know if I butcher his name every time I try and say it, but he has more expensive repacks, and um, I bought quite a few of his, too. Uh, I probably shouldn't have, because they're quite pricey, but um, go check that out when it's, when it's posted. Uh, it should be later this evening, um, not too, too much longer, but uh, that's an interesting one. Um, so, I got my, in, uh, MTG fashion, unscrewed fashion, not rum and coke, and I've drawn some, uh, some tears down here in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, and that's lovely. <clears throat> MTG, I don't know, um, we'll have to get into some kind of, I'm totally ripping that off, dude. I've liked it ever since the first time I've seen you do it, so I'm totally gonna rip that off. Maybe I need to pay you some royalties or something. I don't know. We can uh, we can email back and forth and figure something out. So without further ado, <clears throat> I will get right down to it. Again, it's all sealed up. You know, nothing's open that I could slide a card in or none of that. So let's take a snip here, just so you guys can see. No cards there. I mean, it's all legitimate. Legitimate, legitimate, legitimate. So let's take a little cut here. Let's see what we're working with. And yeah, pretty much nothing. Okay. He made this one a little bit more robust than the last one. It's alright. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, I don't want to bend any cards. I think he's getting me back for the few times I've sent him packages and I taped the crap out of them. So I think he's... Aha! Aha! Okay, so here's this one. So, let's see what we got here. 
Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so I didn't really see anything. Um... Nothing else in there. Okay, and then this one here. Let's just give it a good little snipping right here. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, and nothing else in there. Two repacks, two sets of cards. Top loaders, top loaders are good. Um, this one, this one's weird though, because it looks like it's gonna be like a promo card, because it's all plasticed up. All right, save those for last. Uh, again, as a little note, um, thanks for purchasing. He basically just goes over. Um, his rules and kind of his odds, you know, which are fairly decent odds. <clears throat> so, I'm going to zoom in a little. Unburial Rites, Rocks War Monk, Abysmal, Abyssal Specter, uh, Ancient Grudge. That's got a little bit of bucks to it. I believe. Arcane Sanctum. Familiar Ruse. Rouge, Ruse, whatever. Compulsive Research. Boros Elite. Agrophobia. Sorry about the belching, guys. Uh, Coke will do that to you. Void Walk. That's kind of cool looking. Here we go. Dark Deep Water. Dun, 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 dun. Simic Sky Swallower. Nice. And what's this? It's a foil. It's a foil. It's a foil. Foil Fog. Still a foil. Still a foil. You know what? Let's get a sip. Sip of my... Definitely not rum and coke. With no ice. Oh, I forgot the ice. That's good. That's good. That soda will make you belch, though. So, we have cards in sleeves, which automatically is good. Urban Evolution. Um, Arcanus Spinner. Or Arc. Arc, whatever. Foundry Hornet. Well, that's cool. Trial of Zeal. Okay. Wall of Frost. Hidden Herbalist. Uh, another Trial of Zeal. Azure Mage. Enraged Giant. Well, he's a scary looking dude, isn't he? Yeah. Trial of Knowledge. That's kind of cool looking. Refuse. Cooperate. So what do you guys think of these dual card things here? I particularly don't like them. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. That I just, I don't, I think they look retarded. But, you know, whatever. Who, who am I to say? Resilient. Kinra. Jackal Wizard. Uh-oh. What we got here? Dismal Blackwater Foil. And we have... Uh, you would, wouldn't you? What is that thing? It looks like some kind of... I don't know. Oh! Um. No, it's Eternal Masters, though, I think. And... Haha. <laughs> Mirage Mirror. I love this card, dude. Absolutely love this card. So that's cool, man. Mirage Mirror is about four bucks. This, I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. 
not gonna do that right now. Um, so, on to which one do you want to see first? Which one's first? Which one's first? How about that one? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the. That is a promo Gideon. Gideon of the trials. Is that an, is that the exclusive one? No. Not the exclusive. It is just the Gideon of the trials. Okay. No big deal. Um Okay. Uh, Gideon of uh, there we go. <clears throat> and pre-release. Oh, nice, nice. So it's the next one. What are we thinking? Uh, you know what? I just saw something that I shouldn't have seen. I It's an intuition, guys. Um because I saw the little, see? See the little thing? Yeah. But which one is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Oh no! Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking yeah, look at this. Look at that. I just got the wheels to my gravy train boat. Woohoo! Look, I'm gonna show you something. I want to show you something. Now I have two pairs. Where is it? Oh. Now I'm two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. Looky. Now they're not lonely. They're not lonely. This is such a beautiful fucking card though. Literally. Such a beautiful card. I love Force of Wills. Force of Wills is what got me. Really started again in magic. I mean, literally. It's what got me started again. I mean, the Force of Wills used to be the unattainable, you know? That's just freaking awesome. That's awesome. Awesome ass card. I need another sip. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is one of the major prizes. Let me look it up for you guys. But I'm going to guess it's it's about well, 160 maybe, 170. Unless it's dropped or spiked considerably. Um <clears throat> no. 170 so, that's fucking awesome, dude. Good number. Number, uh, well, it was either number 73 or number 44, one of the two. That's fuck kick-ass. I couldn't ask for a better card. Well, I mean, I could. The, the mocks would have been nice, but, uh, hey. Beggars can't be choosers, you know what I mean? And for the price tag of what he's selling these at, these are phenomenal fucking repacks. Phenomenal phenomenal so this is a beautiful fucking card again please go check out MTG Unscrewed he puts out tremendous fucking content um I don't know if he's ever gonna do repacks again because he's kinda stated in his videos that this is a fucking nightmare to do and I understand I've done repacks before even just casual repacks and they're a pain in the ass to do so you want everybody to feel like they won something, even though, you know, logistically and cash-wise, you can't do that, but, so, hey, everybody, I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you, man, but, uh, go check him out, he's legit, he's cool, peace.